You are listening to WTUZ Radio Podcast. Okay, family, uh, this is Rhonda with WTUZ Radio Podcast. Whew. This is going to be quick. Although I say that and then after I'm done, I look up, it's an hour. <laughs> I'll try to make this quick for, for sure. Uh, this is titled, Ladies, When Chasing the Bag Goes Wrong. Now, what inspired me to do this video was uh, the controversy with Dr. Dre and his adult daughter uh, being homeless. So, I was really taken back by the responses from the melanated, quote, black community. Negative responses. And the negative responses were against the daughter. And I was floored. I was absolutely floored. And... It made me think back to what I said. It was maybe about a month ago. And a couple recent podcasts that I have made regarding values, regarding what is your selection process with selecting a mate, regarding whom you have children with, And I specifically said to women, you should be selecting a mate based on more than a bag or the money. And on one of my shows, I don't remember which episode, (laughs) I specifically said, I don't give a damn how good a man looks. I don't give a damn how good his quote, quote, sex is. I don't give a damn how much money he has. I judge him based on how he moves with his family. I specifically said that. I said that I can tell what a man is about, just how he moves with his family, with his children, what type of relationship he has with his children, and the mother of his children. I specifically said that. Because it is about values. Now, here we are, chilling, chilling, minding our business <laughs> as the collective population. You mean to tell me, Dr. Dre, who's a billionaire? Dr. Dre, who donated 70 million, seven zero million to a university, although we do know that was probably a great move for tax write-off. But nonetheless, it was $70 million. Has a daughter that's homeless? Has a daughter that he has never even met? His grandchildren? His four grandchildren? Has a daughter that he hasn't seen In decades? And that's acceptable to everyone? Or majority? Because she's quote, quote, an adult? I heard all types of excuses in the book. 
Well, you don't know her attitude could have been nasty. This, 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 that, 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 that. Okay. He is a billionaire. He's a billionaire. So you mean to tell me as a billionaire, he had no type of provision set up for his children. None. That's what you're trying to tell me. We're talking a billionaire that is supposed to have estate planning in place. We are talking a billionaire that literally has in the palm of his hand the opportunity to build generation upon generation upon generation upon generation of wealth. You mean to tell me that a billionaire has a daughter that's living in her car? I don't give a doggone if she's 68. She is a daughter of a billionaire. So the point I'm saying to all of this, Dr. Dre been a piece of shit. Let's not pretend. See, this is why I don't judge a man based on his pocketbook. Or the bag. Because a piece of shit baby is a piece of shit. And no amount of bag is going to compensate for that. Now me personally, I was fortunate enough to have two fathers. My biological father. My stepfather. They both always told me ever since I was a teenager going off to college, you always have a home to come back to. Always. Now my stepfather is no longer with us. Beautiful man, stand up man. Raised us like his own. That's coming from a man I was not his biological seed. My biological father to this day. My sister and I know if anything else fails. We can always go to dad's house. Now neither one of those men. They're not millionaires. They were blue collar workers. So I'm going to say again, you mean to tell me that a billionaire is allowing his daughter to be homeless, living in a car and his grandchildren four are homeless as well. Where is Dr. Dre's value system? He doesn't have one. This is a classic example, ladies, of being careful and selective, selective of who you choose as a mate. And extremely important who you have children with. This is a classic example. I mean, I, I just could not imagine that my father would turn his back on me. I, I can't even wrap my mind around it. He's blue, blue collar. Working man, retired now. 
But here you have a billionaire. Ladies, this is about a value system. What are your values? What are your principles? That's who you are. That's who you are. Having a bag does not make you a great father. Having a bag does not make you a great husband or mate, partner. It just doesn't. If you are a shitty person, if you don't have any values or principles, a sense of family, that's who you are. You'll just have a bunch of children and neglect them. Either you don't want to spend the money on them or you'll throw the money at them, but you don't put the connection time with the children. None of it is fair to the children. It's just not. So I'm not fencing to drag this on out. Um, it's just on my heart. And um, just to see some of the responses from some of the women. I'm like, who, who raised you? How, how, how are you selecting your mate? You mean to tell me? You would select a mate, the father of your children that has a bag that'll let you all's child, and in this case, you all's child and grandchildren be homeless? Wow. The melanated black community has a lot of sickness going on. And I done took and I done told y'all that money is not going to fix the issue. It is who you are. What are your principles? What are your values? We have a lot of broken souls. running around, wrecking havoc, creating other little souls, not doing what they're supposed to do. Now, like I done said before, what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to justify bad behavior immoral behavior, I'm not going to do it. This should be a huge wake-up call to us ladies. This should be a huge wake-up call. So with that said, um, I wish everyone well on this Friday. Um, have a good day, family. This is Rhonda with WTUZ Radio Podcast. Peace and love.